Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in an upcoming update for the DCS F18C Hornet, uh, we have some new functionality for the Identify Friend or Foe or IFS system of the Combined Interrogator Transponder or the CIT. Now, of course, right now you can designate a target and manually depress the sensor control switch to interrogate a target. Uh, what's coming up is the ability to do this automatically based on the uh, LNS or the launch and steering target or just automatically based on the azimuth setting ahead of you. So we see we have the uh, azimuth over elevation on the left side of sign the TDC. And by default, the LNS interrogation is automatically selected. Let's go ahead and set this guy here as our LNS, depress the TDC. And you see the two green bars indicating that it did the azimuth uh, IFF search along that spot. And we had uh, two targets come back as hostile because uh, we had two uh, identifications, both our, our IFF as well as from the uh, E2. And of course, outside those are still unidentified. Now what we can also do is we can do it at the same time as well. Let's go ahead and go to Auto IFF, set to 140 degrees, and it uh, basically interrogated everything within 140 degrees of us there. But we can say go to just 20 degrees, you see the bars here, and this guy got dropped, and this guy got dropped to 40 degrees. You see the bars, 80, eighty degree bars, and then back to 140. Now, in addition to the azimuth, we can also filter it by range. So let's go, say, back to like just 10 miles. So it's still searching 140 degrees, and everything is coming back as uh, ambiguous again. Put it back out to 80, and things are coming back again. So as you can see, it's a really handy function to identify targets in the heat of combat and not having to manually interrogate anymore. Anyhow, folks, very much hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Thanks.